Well, hi guys, this is N1CY, and we're going to talk about a, a really cool radio, which is actually, it's the uh, the companion for this radio, for the Yaesu FTM 400, and it's the handheld companion, and so we got the FT1DR, this is the radio, so we'll go ahead and turn it on, and... Uh, What's really cool about this radio is it's got a, a built-in GPS and so it will do um, a lot of uh, GPS functions like tracking, um, other functions, APRS which is really cool and it would also do the digital mode. Um, it has uh, some really unique features course it's a very complex radio it has a lot of uh, interesting features but uh, one of the features that I really like is the uh, it's got uh, five different levels of mic gain so you have five different levels of mic gain uh, great receive audio and uh, also it has what they call the uh, Yesu C4 FM digital voice and data and uh, uh, it, uh, it can also uh, transmit a APRS packet and decode APRS packet because it has a built-in GPS. It's uh, uh, also APX, IPX7 compatible uh, for submersion so it's water resistant and the radio is really high quality. Uh, the display is very, very high quality display, LCD. And um, it has a high capacity 1800 milliamp hour battery. So uh, your consumption with the APRS modem turned on is going to be uh, a little bit more uh, than normal. And so uh, the the high capacity battery is a, a big plus. So I, I was really impressed by the fit and finish, the quality of construction, the receive audio, and again the display is really really neat and um, very resistant to scratches and stuff like that. Welcome. And so. Um, my first impression is really, uh, I was very, uh, very pleased with the radio. And here's your GPS rec uh, receiver right here on top. So uh, the radio will receive GPS and you can do APRS packet. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, go into the menu and uh, look on the GPS capture. The GPS satellite capture. Here we go. Now we're in APRS. We have to go to display. So here's the display. And do so much with one hand, right? Okay. Enter. Okay, so here's the uh, first GPS screen. It shows the satellite image on the left and our coordinates. And then um, you press enter again and it will show you the uh, satellite capture screen. These are the satellites that we're receiving right now, although we're inside the vehicle. So that's really, really cool. So this is the satellite uh, capture screen. Back to the position screen. And if you rotate the dial, it will give you more information. Our altitude here is, I'm sorry about the glare. Um, altitude is 900 feet as you can see. Um, 
north-west coordinates and let's go ahead and turn the display we will give you more information speed altitude very very nice so again we got the uh, location screen you press enter again, it shows you the satellite capture screen. All right, and let's go back out of this menu. And so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the APRS mode. Okay, so we'll transmit APRS in the B band, which is the lower band. So we'll go to the APRS channel here. As you can see, the receiver audio is really good. And on a Great. really bright sun. Here's the uh, APRS channel for uh, for this region 144.395. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and turn the modem, the APRS modem on. So, what you do is you go into the menu. And you select menu number 9, which is APRS. Okay, this is APRS. And then you enter APRS modem number 4 on the menu. And you press enter again. And it's off. And so we want to turn it on. 1200 PBS that's the packet speed and then you get out of it so now now our uh, APRS modem is activated and we're gonna uh, I have it set to transmit at uh, three minutes but you can force it to transmit you press function and beacon TX and O will transmit APRS data. So I get my call sign set up as N1CY-7 and uh, I have it set at uh, L3 power level and that's another big plus with this radio it has uh, uh, four different power levels L1, L2, L3 and, and, and high power. So 100 milliwatts 1 watt, 2.5 watt and five watts. So right now we're at two and a half watts transmit on APRS. And so um, I can go ahead. I'm not receiving APRS packet here because I'm really out of range. Um, I'm out here in uh, pretty much in the uh, in the wilderness, and so I'm not receiving. I'm fortunately I'm not receiving APRS packet in this location. But I'm going to go ahead and transmit. And here's, uh, you press function and beacon TX. So I just sent packets. My location, my call sign, altitude, speed, etc., etc. My, uh, my uh, uh, text message, or status text is what they call it. So I just uh, sent that out. And again, I do apologize. I'm out in the woods, so we're not receiving packets here in this neighborhood. Um, I'm in Silverado Canyon uh, by Black Star Canyon. That's my location right now. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> let me go ahead and transmit again. We'll press Function and Beacon TX. That's really cool. Anyway. Now we're going to go ahead and exit the APRS mode and we're going to try the digital mode, uh, voice digital. So let's go ahead and exit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the beacon off. Off. There you go. 
and uh, we'll exit that okay so now we are no longer transmitting or receiving packet now we're gonna try the digital mode so let me go ahead and put it you can only transmit digital on this radio in the A band so we have to go to the A band and here we go here's the uh, A band put it in VFO not all the time uh, now let's try to get the program. show dad loves watching any kind of sports football baseball you name it so one four six five five oh and we got here one four six five five oh and this is the uh, this is the digital mode now it has what they call AMS AMS meaning automatic mode select so right now I'm gonna select uh, the digital mode here so digital mode right there and uh, before I do that um, I should see if there's any activities on this frequency although I've been listening for a while so there is no activities but let me go ahead and transmit so I'm going to transmit with the radio and see you and show you that the, the, the volume and the audio quality on digital and one N1 C Y testing is the frequency in use. N1 C Y. So you see, it showed my call sign, which is what you do with the, and it will also show you how far I am from the other radio. So isn't that neat? I really like that, and the quality. Is really good although we are transmitting in the digital narrow mode there's also a digital enhanced mode but I'm gonna demonstrate again you can see my call sign and the distance from this radio here we go and one CY testing and one CY Testing, testing one, two, one, three, two, three, four. four. Audio, Audio check. check. N one C Y. So of course you're hitting the feedback, which is okay because we're, we're we're just uh, too close. But it it the the digital sounds really good. I like that. Now let's see what the enhanced digital will sound like. So we'll go again here. VW, that's wide, that voice wide. So you'll be losing, you'll be uh, using 12.5 kilohertz of the band um, for voice only, which supposedly gives you enhanced voice. Any other radio should detect it as well. It will switch the mode to VW. So here we go. N1 N1 CY. CY. N1 CY. CY. Testing. Testing. One, two, One, three, two, three, four. N1 N1 CY. 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 Okay, let me. This is the initial ID message. Okay, let me turn the other one down. So you see in the uh, digital wide, it did not transmit uh, uh, position information because it used the full spectrum 12.5 kilohertz to transmit voice and you can tell that the voice was fuller it was more broadbanded than before so it transmitted the call sign but not the distance information uh, so uh, so it basically used uh, almost a full space for enhanced voice transmission now let me try it again N1 CY. 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 N
So a slight delay, but it sounds good. It sounds really good. I'm very, very impressed with it. Very impressed with the radio and the mode. Um, and uh, again, uh, the, the features, uh, C4FM, digital audio, and you have a narrow mode with uh, data, and also enhanced audio mode, and also it will have as APRS, built-in GPS, and uh, really nice radio, very, very nice radio. Great investment. If you're doing a hike up in the mountains, you can backtrack. You can also uh, select uh, or save waypoints. So it has a micro SD card right here. So this is where the micro SD card goes and I do have one 16 gigabyte micro SD card, SDHD and um, HDSC actually. <laughs> anyway, um, really nice radio, IPX7 compatible so you can submerge it in water um, and uh, you know you, you can use it in the rain and what have you. Uh, really great for people that hike up in the mountains, you know I hike with my dogs and um, you know we go into the forest and stuff like that so I can always backtrack using this radio and I can send emergency beacon um, from like a hilltop if I need help or got lost uh, using APRS so anyway uh, thank you for watching and we'll go ahead and sign with you here using the CW I'm gonna say this is N1CY 73's there we go. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye.